Hello and good morning everyone. Wanted to come on here today and just share something with you all. Um, it's uh, basically it's a recap of a, a dream that my daughter had here almost a couple years ago. And uh, first and foremost, I want to stress that I am not setting any dates. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I first put this video out, I was accused of that. Um, I had people, you know, lash out at me because you know, um, September, October of last year came, nothing happened. Um, again, this is just a dream that my daughter had. Um, pray about it, uh, discern on your own, um, you know, what you all think. Again, I, this is just for information purposes. I throw this out here um, because I felt that this dream was very prophetic. Um, will we see anything, you know, dramatic before our eyes happen? Who knows? Maybe. But, you know, there's also a chance that maybe all this stuff's going on behind the scenes that it may it may go on behind the scenes, you know, and, and you know, this month or the month of October, and we may not know it, you know, until later. Or we may not know it at all. We may get raptured out of here before, you know, all this ever comes to pass. But I just want to stress with you all again, um, please, you know, this is... Uh, this is just a dream that she had, <clears throat> and I've I've had a few requests um, to to repost this. Um, I I couldn't find the original video um, when I closed down my old channel, Stam Heating. Um, I lost the, the video, and so I'm just making a new one now uh, to give you all a recap of of what this dream uh, was and what took place during the dream. So, with that being said. I'll go ahead and share exactly what happened here. One morning, um, I was getting ready for work, and um, my daughter was in her room and she was crying. And she was just terribly, terribly upset. And you gotta understand, my daughter Kelsey, um, you know, she was 12 years old at the time when she had this dream. Um, she's, she's had dreams and the Lord has spoken to her Many, you know, several times, really, that's just blown my mind. I mean, she's she's had Jesus speak to her, and she's told me things that he said that, that lined up with Scripture. And this was all when she was much younger. So she has a relationship with Jesus Christ that's, that's truly special and anointed. And uh, she's a very anointed young lady. And um, so when she tells me something, I listen. I listen. So... Basically, the way the dream started off, like I said, my daughter was crying, and I approached her and um, terribly upset, and she uh, and I told her to tell me about the dream and what happened. So basically, what happened during the dream is she said in the dream that her and I, um, my daughter uh, Krissa and and my wife, um, we were all together sitting in the living room, and I was on the computer, and them three, and we were all sitting there, and. Her and uh, um, her, her mom and her sister, they were on their smartphones. And all of a sudden, she said this music come on. It was like a da-da-da-da-da-da. And she said this man's face come up on the screen. And she said that uh, he was making a bunch of promises that everything was going to be okay, that he was going to solve all the problems. And, um, you know, he was trying to explain, you know, the events that were taking place. And, um, and basically, um, in a nutshell, he, uh, he told in the dream, he said, um, this is the month that, that, I'll, that I'm going to take care of this. And he showed the month of October. And my daughter told me that that's when she woke up. And she said, Daddy, she said, this guy was, was saying a lot of nice things. And he just seemed so nice. And he kept making all these promises and everything. And and she said, and then he showed me the month of October. And, you know, my personal opinion is, I believe what she saw um, was the uh, was the Antichrist. And I asked her, I said, can you describe the Antichrist to me? And, and she just couldn't, she couldn't describe it. And, um, and of course, I asked her, you know, <laughs> what race was he? And, uh... She said, Daddy, it was a white man. And uh, but she didn't know his name, nothing like that. So again, 
you know, I think there's a lot of significance there. Um, I know last September, October, um, we had the blood moon last year in the fall. And um, yeah, things did happen. A lot of things has changed since we've had these blood moons, a whole lot of things. And you know, with this month being here during the Shemitah, this is a, a Shemitah month, and this is the last blood moon. There are a lot of prophetic, a lot of uh, high prophetic uh, things going on right now. And you know, I'm not setting any dates. I will never set a date, but I will say, you know, looking at what go, what's going on around us and the prophetic times that are ahead of us, time is short. And I really believe for those who love Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, I really believe that our redemption is drawing very, very near. And I feel that this is an urgent, again, I feel this was an urgent call from God the Father that spoke to my daughter. Um, you know, October's coming up. You know, we're in the month of September. And, you know, what I got to say, for those of us who know Jesus Christ, we really need to be 100% focused as much as we possibly can and be ready for when that trumpet sounds and, and take a look at ourselves. You know, I've been doing this since 2011, and I am truly blown away at how fast prophecy has taken place. You know, I've walked on this earth, you know, since then, and every year it just seems so much more the feeling of Jesus Christ coming back and judgment on this world seems so much stronger each and every day that I take this walk. And I know right now as I speak, I feel it within every part of every bone in my body that something very, very, very big is about to take place. I believe for us the who love Jesus, I believe that our return, the return of Jesus Christ is what we feel. But I believe that we also know that God has to judge this sinful world. You know... Used to be years ago, um, America supported Israel 100%. And, you know, our governments have turned their backs more and more on Israel. And, you know, when I go with what God says in his word, those who bless my people Israel will be blessed. And those who curse my people Israel will be cursed. This, this country, it's doomed. The judgment of God is coming upon this country and I really only believe I really believe the reason judgment hasn't hit as hard as it's going to hit yet is because us Christians those who love Jesus who are praying for this nation who are here proclaiming his gospel and sharing the salvation knowledge of Jesus Christ God has not let the judgment completely be poured out over this land yet because we are still here we are still here and you know, I heard a pastor say one time how, and he kind of chuckled at this, how the world hates us and they want us just out of the picture. They want us out of the way. You know, they hate Christians. They hate anything that we got to say. You know, the world does. Little do they know, we don't want to be here either. <laughs> we want to be home. But just, I think, in, I think in these last few hours that we have, we need to focus and, and be... Be more ready, um, eyes open, ears open. Um, we need to be more prepared. Um, you know, the eastern sky is behind me, and you all know, you've known me long enough. Whenever I make these videos, I I wake up every morning. As a matter of fact, all day, every time I'm home, I'm always looking towards the eastern skies. And, you know, even the clouds this morning, they just they just speak volumes, you know, like like something, something's coming something very big but you know I, this message is for those right now that that don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior you know gone are the days of <clears throat> well I'll just I'll just do it later you know I want to live my life you know I want to um, <clears throat> do the things and not have to worry about God being mad at me and I don't want to give up all the fun things I do the party in and <clears throat> and and all the the habitual sins that I have and you know gone are those days and and we're in a day right now you know for those of you that that don't know Jesus um, you're playing with fire you're playing with fire and 
time is running out and if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today is a day of salvation and I really believe that that somebody's watching this video right now and 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 I believe that God has been tugging at your heart and you feel that conviction and you know that that you need to be right in the eyes of the Father you know you need to be saved maybe you feel like you've you've done too many things and you've gone too far maybe you feel like that God wouldn't forgive you because you've done some very very awful things well I'm here to assure you and bring you great comfort <clears throat> in knowing that Jesus Christ loves you just as you are. And He has His arms wide open, ready and willing to take you in and to guide you every step of the way. You know, He wants you to be home with Him, you know. And despite what the evil world says and despite what people say about Jesus and, and, and the people that hate God, we have a heavenly home that Jesus promised that He is preparing for us. And He wants you to be there. He wants you to be there. And I want you to be assured today and knowing in your heart that there is hope and that Jesus loves you just the way you are. Regardless of what you've done, regardless of where you've been, He loves you. And if you feel in your heart and you feel Jesus tugging at your heart, you know, you don't have to be in church to be saved. You can get saved anywhere. Anywhere at all, you can get saved. Right where you're at, you can get saved. All you got to do is believe with all your heart that Jesus Christ died on that cross and that He rose the third day. And all you got to do is just close your eyes and pray, Lord Jesus, I come to you today and I admit to you that I am a sinner. And I need you as my Savior. I ask that you would come into my heart and save me today, Jesus. I know you died for me, and I need to be saved. Take me by the hand, forgive me of my sins, and lead me every step of the way. I give you my heart. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer and you meant it sincerely with all of your heart, congratulations, you are a child of the King. And you know what? All of us on here that's been preaching the gospel and sharing the love of Jesus Christ, you'll be there with us in our new glorified, glorified heavenly home. And you know, for again, for those who have accepted Christ as your personal Savior, maybe there's someone out there who, who's so backslidden that's, that's turned their back on Jesus. Maybe feel like that you've gone too far and, you know, maybe, maybe you just don't think there's hope for you. You know what? There's always hope. In Christ Jesus, there's always hope. All you got to do is just pray that He would forgive you of your sins. And He is ready and willing to forgive you. You know, the love of Jesus Christ is more, more, there's more volume there than we could ever imagine. You know, on this earth, we just get a glimmer of it. But oh, to see Him face to face and to be with Him in our new heavenly home is going to be more greater and the love that we're going to feel is going to be more love than we could ever truly imagine. So I want you all to know that I pray for each and every one of you every day. And I thank you for taking the time out to, to watch this message. Time is short. The trumpet is about to sound. We are just about to be called home. Jesus wants as many as possible to be in that ark when that door shuts. All right, well... I thank you again. I pray that you all have a blessed day in Christ Jesus. And I love you all so much. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen.